the seven best associate degrees of 2023. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be going over associate degrees that are actually worth it, right? So there's a lot of people out there that wanna get jobs, but they don't necessarily wanna go for the full bachelor's degree because bachelor's degrees do take 5.1 years on average, right? They're not four years like most people think. And so a lot of people end up going for associate degrees because they can get those within one to two years. But some associate degrees are much better than others, and that's where we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead and associate your finger with that like button and let's jump into it. All right, so first one on the list is going to be information technology management. Now, this of course is a technology related degree. And one thing that is great about the tech industry is there are so many different ways for you to break into it. You can literally break into it with an associate's degree, bachelor's degree, master's, doctorate. You can do certificates, you can self-teach, you can try to get like an entry-level job and then you know vertically or horizontally shift into a technology related job. There are so many different ways to break into tech. That's one thing that makes the technology industry the best industry to work in, in my opinion. But with that being said, sometimes people don't want to put the pressure on themselves to self-teach or to you know get a certificate or anything like that. They just want to go ahead, get a degree, do more of a traditional education type of thing. And an associate degree can work in those cases. So with this one, you'd expect to make about $45,000 a year starting out and 80,000 in mid-career pay. If you look up information technology manager on Glassdoor, you're going to see they make about $138,000 a year. And if you type in information technology on LinkedIn at the entry level, right, because there's a lot of careers out there that have a lot of demand, but not so much demand at the entry level, you're going to see 218,000 entry level results. So really, really good stuff there. So again, my preferred method for getting into technology in general is getting certifications or doing some sort of online course in order to break in, get that first entry level job, and then you can go anywhere you want from there. But with that being said, I know some people do prefer going to university and getting more of a traditional education. So this is gonna be an option for you. Number six on the list is going to be diagnostic medical ultrasound, right? So this is one of many medical related associate level degrees that you're gonna see on this list. And I've talked about this before on the channel, but the great thing about medical related degrees is you actually have to get the degree in order to get the job, right? There's a lot of different examples of jobs out there where the degree is kind of optional. It's becoming more and more optional as time goes on. But with medical degrees, you truly do have to get the degree in order to land the job. And that gives the degree itself value. So with this one, you'd expect to make about $55,000 a year starting out and 81,000 in mid-career pay. And the meaning score is 88%. Now, one thing you're going to notice about the meaning scores with medical degrees versus basically any other type of degree is the meaning score is much higher. And the reason for that is because you know you are making a direct positive impact on people's lives, right? So there's a lot of jobs out there where you are making a positive impact on people's lives, but you don't necessarily get to see it. In the medical field, you typically do get to see how you're positively impacting and helping people. You know, somebody might come in, they've got some sort of issue, you treat them, you cure them, whatever. A few days later or a week later, you release them and they're good to go. Whereas if you're creating some sort of piece of software, yeah, you are helping a bunch of people out there, but you don't necessarily get to see it. So a lot of the time it can be much less satisfying for that reason. Now, if you type in diagnostic careers in general on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $72,000 a year. And if you type in ultrasound on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 25,000 results at the entry level. So yeah, this one can be a really good one to get into. Number five on the list is going to be project management. Now, this is one where you're gonna see a lot of boot camps and online programs and stuff like that that can teach you how to get into project management. And you can go that way, definitely. There's a lot of certifications and, and certificates as well. But with that being said, again, some people prefer going more of a traditional route. And so this one is an option for you. If you look at the stats, entry level career pays $50,000 a year, mid career pays 85,000 and the meaning score is 52%. If you look on Glassdoor, project management makes $86,000 a year. And if you type in project management on LinkedIn at the entry level, you are going to see a whopping 353,000 results. 
Next one on the list, number four is going to be electrical and computer engineering. So sometimes engineering degrees can be relatively good at the associate level. It really depends on which one though. With this particular one, you can expect to make about $47,000 a year starting out and 87,000 in mid-career pay and the meaning score is 58%. Electrical and computer engineers make about $81,000 a year. And if you type in electrical engineer on LinkedIn at the entry level, you'll see 38,000 results. Computer engineer at the entry level you're going to see 83,000. Number three on the list is going to be instrumentation technology. So this is one of those careers where a lot of the time you do have to get an associate level degree in order to get into it. So it does require some education, but it doesn't require too much and it's really good pay. So with this one, you can expect to make about $51,000 a year starting out, 90,000 in mid-career pay, and the meeting score is pretty good at 59%. Instrumentation technicians make about $62,000 a year. And if you type in instrumentation technician on LinkedIn, you'll see about 6,800 results. But with that being said, there are other names for it. Number two on the list is going to be another medical related degree. And if I'm being honest, I could put almost all medical degrees here because if you count the fact that you have to get the degree in order to get into the career, if that's like the most important factor to you, then it's just, you know, medical degrees dominate associate degrees. But number two on the list is going to be radiation therapy. So with this one, you'd expect to make about $65,000 a year starting out and 95,000 in mid-career pay. And the meaning score is a whopping 92%. That's the highest meaning by far on this list. If you type in radiation therapy on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $114,000 a year. Although I think that adds in people who have bachelor degrees and master's degrees, et cetera. It's not just associate degrees, but you can make really good money with radiation therapy even with an associate level degree and if you type in radiation therapist on linkedin at the entry level you're going to see 5,800 results so there's a bunch of different types of radiation therapy and there's a lot of other job types depending on the type that you specialize in. And with medical degrees in general, a lot of the time there's a bunch of different niche degrees. There might only be like, you know, 10 to 15,000 jobs throughout the United States, but there's like a hundred different variations of these different little niche jobs. So you really do want to do your research when it comes to these medical careers and medical degrees. And by the way, if you just want to get into a high demand, high salary career as fast and efficiently as possible, check out the free digital marketing masterclass, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. This masterclass is from my friend Seth, who has gotten literally thousands of people jobs over the last few years. He's the best in the world at getting people digital marketing jobs. And you know, with an associate degree, it might take you two years to finish it and then another six months before you get a job. He is routinely getting people with no experience and no college degree jobs within about three to six months. And I've done a bunch of interviews on this channel. You can check them out. I have a whole playlist of them. And all of these people have gotten jobs using what he teaches. So again, I'll put that free masterclass down in the description as well as the pinned and comment below if you want to learn more about it. Number one on the list is going to be no surprise, and that is going to be computer science and mathematics. So it was interesting. This is actually a combination degree, and it is at the associate level. Now, keep in mind with these combination degrees, a lot of the time, not enough people graduate with them for these statistics to actually be valid. So it could be that there's just not a large enough sample size here. But with that being said, computer science, you know, it's another one of those where you can get into those software development jobs without a degree, but it's nice to have one. It definitely isn't a scam to get a computer science degree. Now, if you type in computer science and mathematics on Glassdoor, you'll see 72,000 a year. And if you type in computer science and mathematics on LinkedIn at the entry level, you'll see 34,000 job postings that have those as keywords. Check out this interview of James, who was able to get a job at 16 years old using the digital marketing masterclass that I mentioned before. Really interesting to hear, and I think you'll really enjoy his story.